This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to another week of Jailbreak Tuesday. This week we will be covering iOS 3.1.3 being blocked from the App Store, the dev team releasing Beta 9 of Red Snow, and also iOS 5 downgrade to iOS 4, and then big news regarding the untethered jailbreak. So without further ado, let's get to it iOS 3.1.3 was actually blocked from the App Store this week. Now 3.1.3 was actually one of the uh, iOS firmwares that actually had an untethered jailbreak. So Apple has just said, you know what, you are so far behind, we are blocking you so you can no longer have 3.1.3 and actually access the App Store. This week the dev team released an update, uh, Beta 9 actually, of Red Snow for both Mac and Windows. And there is a full changelog in the uh, dev team's post, I will post the link down below for you guys. But you should go check it out. It does help with the users who were stuck on 5.0.1. Now some of you guys might think that this is awesome or some might find this pointless, but if you are a iPhone 4 or iPad 2 owner who has iOS 5 and is just not impressed and wants to go back and have their untethered jailbreak on 4.33, you actually can using Tiny CFW. I will post a link down below to that program. You can now downgrade from iOS 5 to 4.3. 3.3 using tiny CFW. Pod2G this week posted that all devices that use the A4 processor are ready to go and that the untethered jailbreak is stable and working for those devices. Now I know what you're thinking, what about the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S which both use the A5 processor? Well, there was a little bit of an issue with it, but Pod2G was able to work through it and get everything done and completed. So we are getting very, very close to the jailbreak. He actually met up with a legend in the community, uh, Saruk, to work out some more issues to release a stable jailbreak. So we can officially say we are uber close to the release. They are just fine-tuning this thing, and we will be seeing it very, very soon. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap up Jailbreak Tuesday for this week. I want to thank you guys for watching. Last week, I had you guys weigh in your ideas on what kind of section should be added to Jailbreak Tuesday at the end of the videos. You guys came up with either best tweak of the week or best theme of the week. Now please vote this week by leaving a comment down below saying either best tweak or best theme and I will add that kind of section next week into next week's video. Also guys, if you're looking to get in contact with me, you can hit me up on Twitter at Homemade Geek or go over to my YouTube page and subscribe. It's Homemade Geek Squad. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day and as always, peace. Take notice of the symbol. Proper this time. Whoosh.